This sketchbook is mostly from Davis, California, in June, from June to October 2019. These are all done on location, plain air, painted from life, from what I was seeing. And this is a sycamore tree near an old apartment I used to live in. And uh, I don't know, it's pretty cool. Uh, probably should have simplified this a bit, a little overworked and stuff, but I got a nice light effect here on the tree. So I'm pretty happy with the light versus shadow. But definitely should have, uh, I think I should have added some splattering in, some cool texture, and uh, really simplified a lot of that. But uh, overall, it's not bad. Probably one of my best in this, in this sketchbook is this uh, really cool house. And uh, I was painting in a cul-de-sac, you know, a circular area at the end of this street. And these houses are very expensive. I mean, they're like you know, half a million to $700,000. And I'm in this neighborhood on the sidewalk, sitting on the sidewalk, painting someone's house. It was a little awkward. And in the middle of the painting experience, the owner comes home and uh, he saw that I was painting his house. I was a little nervous at first, but he was actually very nice. He was actually really cool that I was interested in painting uh, this particular part of his house. He told me about the architect that made it and how they had a custom build and all this stuff. It's really cool. Uh, really nice guy. So definitely appreciate that. And I got a great painting from it, man. And uh, this one took a lot longer than normal. It was about 45 minutes. Normally, these only take me like 25 minutes or 20 minutes. And I uh, spent a lot of time on that one. But it was worth it. I call this one a failure. Uh, <laughs> this is supposed to be like a rock cliff. And uh, yeah, that's uh, it's up near Lake Tahoe. And that's just not not a great painting. Um, so let's move on here. Another lake here. This one was very tough because the sun, I was painting towards facing the sun. So everything was very backlit. You can see everything is very dark in this painting for the most part. And that's because I was squinting the whole time. And you can see there's some light on these rocks, kind of some rim lighting. But, um, yeah, that was a very challenging painting. Very, very challenging because it was just so bright. And the final one from that day, this is up near Lake Tahoe again, and uh, just painting some uh, nice mountains with, with uh, different values of distance and everything. Came out really well, pretty cool. Very challenging, but uh, worth it, you know, really came out really well. Uh, and this is July, so about a month after that other painting I just did, and this was very challenging. This, I uh, it's supposed to be a redwood, some redwood trees in the forest. I was trying out a new paintbrush I had gotten and um, I just, it, it was cold in the forest very early morning and I just didn't, I wasn't patient enough letting the paint painting dry before putting on another layer. So I got a lot of bleeding and um, just was not, not a very good painting. Um, pretty challenging. Another one in the forest of that same day it came out a little bit better, but still, uh, I don't know, there's something about it I don't like. You know, obviously I got some light effects here, but overall, just not my greatest work. There's something about, uh, there's something about it. I, got, I went too opaque or something, it's too flat looking. Yeah, there's just something, something's off there. Some morning glories. Uh, didn't quite get the effect I was going for. Should've went a little bit darker here. But overall, very, it was very bright, very light effects. Should have went darker, on, saturated on the flowers. But I think I got the effect of them, what they, you know, their appearance. You could definitely tell it's like some kind of morning glory flower. But uh, those are always pretty fun to paint. But definitely challenging because the saturation of these flowers is like incredible. If you go and watch the vlog of this and my, my plein air adventure, plein air journey series, my playlist on YouTube, you can see me paint these. And uh, you can see how saturated these colors, the flowers were. It's just incredible. And uh, here's Water Tower from uh, UC Davis. Pretty iconic water towers they have in town. So it's pretty cool I was able to capture that. Um, kind of overworked the foliage here, but oh well. Um, yeah, I mean, that's it's pretty cool. I got some nice lighting and shadow effects, pretty subtle effects there. So I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, here's kind of a twilight painting of the moon, of course, and some uh, trees, evening light. 
probably overworked this one as well, but definitely got some subtle colors in the sky and stuff. Really cool. Um, not like my worst painting ever, but you know, it was definitely cool painting the moon and stuff. Um, just something really different than what I normally do. And this is probably one of my favorite sunsets I've ever painted. Came out really well. I got some nice atmospheric effects of, of the sun, you know, shining in the atmosphere, very warm sky. Um, nice effect getting that sun to look super bright against all this uh, saturated colors purple here the mountains you know it really simplified and just uh just the statement that i'm looking for that warmth of the evening sun you know that's that's what i was trying to capture and this is right after the sun went down over the mountains so it was cool that i was able to capture the sun before it went down and then afterwards and uh, afterwards was just as beautiful so Maybe may even be more beautiful in a certain way, capturing these cooler colors as that warm light uh, dissipated, disappeared. Um, so, and uh, here's a nice lake. There was a wildfire going on during this time, and uh, very smoky and misty. And uh, that's kind of what I was capturing here: some early morning light. And uh, yeah, it came out really well, man. I'm happy with that one. Pretty cool. Finally getting into some fall colors here. Very challenging, definitely overworked it. Just too many little things going on, but uh, was able to capture yellow trees and that's one of my favorite things to paint and, and go and see in nature, yellow trees up in the mountains and stuff. Just so beautiful, man. And I was able to, lucky I was able to capture the harmony out here and be able to reflect back on that. It's pretty cool. And yet again, last painting here, another uh, same day as that last one. This one's actually in the sunlight. The other one was um, overcast, cloudy. So um, yeah, overall, really love this sketchbook. You know, big variety of subjects over a few months. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, be sure to check out my whole plain air adventure journey playlist. And uh, stay tuned for more. Take care of yourself. Peace, my friends.